Welcome to November Student Union Healthy Lunch. My name is Phil Stevens. I'm chef de cuisine for Oklahoma State University, University Dining Services. And today our theme is Thanksgiving leftover. And I think this is a great time to do this because we're before Thanksgiving. So uh, with what I'm going to prepare for you today, you'll have an opportunity to go ahead and put these things in your, in your cupboard if uh, it so interests you. So today what we're going to do is it's a leftover turkey and black bean um, soup with uh, sweet potatoes and lime and cilantro. So today, I'm not going to demonstrate much cutting. We're just going to put this thing together and, uh, and let, it, let all the flavors come together so you can try it here at the end. So what I've done is a basic mirepoix, the things that you're going to have you know, on, on hand anyway for Thanksgiving. So onions, celery, and carrots. You can see the cuts here. And then I've also done some sweet potato. I partially, I steamed these for about three minutes just to soften them a little bit so that we could get through today. And by the time we, we finish putting this together, you'll be able to eat it, it'll be tender. So I'm gonna go ahead and start these with a little bit of olive oil. And we're working to create a one pot build here so that you're not, not going to have to worry with messing up a lot of pots and pans. We can just do it in one pot. We're going to let that saute for just a little bit. I'm going to turn the heat up so this will really start to soften and break down a little bit. And so while that's going, uh, I'll talk about some options that you have with your broth. Uh, in the recipe I built, uh, I put together, I tell you that you can use either chicken stock or if, if you um, have saved your bones from your turkey, the, the turkey carcass, then you can just put that in a big stock pot, put some of these vegetables in there, some rough cut onions, celery, carrots, and you can create um, a very nice, low sodium, very healthy organic stock for yourself uh, and utilize that. Um, this today, I've cut the recipe down just a little bit. I called for um, 30 ounces of black beans and I've called for 64 ounces or two quarts of, of the stock, but I wanted to reduce that just a little bit today because I want this to be just a really hearty um, ingredient heavy soup. So it's not going to be just swimming in, in the broth. I want the broth to kind of complement all the vegetables and the turkey. So since I've given this a little bit of time to go, so into the pot I'm going to go ahead and add, I'm sorry, before I do that I'm going to add some, some minced garlic. Let that saute a little bit. And then right into that, we're going to go ahead and add oregano. We've got chili powder. We've got cumin and black pepper. So we're really playing up the Southwest flavors there. And if you remember from the last time in October when I did that one, we talked about, you know, I like adding these dry seasonings right in on top of the saute. I think it helps to deepen the flavor and it incorporates well with all the vegetables. Okay, so we're bringing that along. To that, we're gonna go ahead and add some canned tomatoes. Now, if you have fresh tomatoes on hand, by all means, utilize those. I'm doing canned as something that'll be easy for you to do. You know, you can just get a, a couple of cans of, of tomato and a four ounce can of green chilies that I just added. And now we're really starting to bring together our, our Southwest theme. Okay. 
and I like, I want, I want these vegetables all to cook and to blend, but I want them to be very al dente. I want them to have a really good crunch when you taste them instead of, you know, just turning to mush and being uh, super soft. So to that, I'm gonna go ahead and add the chicken stock. I was fortunate enough to have some broth left over from my turkey. So I mixed a very mild chicken stock and then to that I added a little bit of the turkey broth. So this has a little bit of chicken stock and some turkey broth. Let that begin to come together. I'm going to go ahead and add black beans. And these are canned black beans, um, but I've washed them. You want to rinse them. Um, the main reason that I like to rinse them is I want to get rid of the liqueur that's in the can because it makes the broth very cloudy. Now, it's flavorful, and if you like that, then absolutely you can use it. Um, it also has, it contains a lot of the sodium that's going to be in the product. So by rinsing that, um, you've reduced the sodium if, if, you're, um, if that's a goal that you have in your cooking. This will be very colorful. In the recipe, I do want to point out one thing that I did. I, um, I called for quite a bit of um, the spices. It's because I like them to be heavy. Today, I've cut that back just a little bit because I don't want to assault anyone's palate. So uh, that's the great thing about recipes, and, and I bring that up every time we cook together, is that um, the, the recipe is a guideline. And so if there's something that you really, really like and you want to add more, then do that, to, do that to taste. If there's something you don't like at all, you can omit that and add, substitute whatever it is that you like that you think will add to the, that flavor profile. So in with the turkey, and this is shredded turkey. Um, this is all breast. And it was, it was done with all the classic um, seasonings for for Thanksgiving. So thyme, oregano, sage. But you can use any part of the turkey you want left over. Absolutely. And and you know I, I, I know that we're all about the healthy, um, but I, I have to say that the the dark meat to me it just is so much more flavorful. So a combination of that with your with your turkey, I think that's a a, a healthy, nice compromise. This is going to be delicious regardless. So this is coming together nicely. All right. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to top this off with a little bit of cilantro. This is chopped cilantro that I've done today. And I called this with, with lime, but I'm going to offer it with wedges because I know that not everyone likes that and um, if we do it this way then everyone gets an opportunity to to add that themselves and it also makes a nice garnish okay while I'm letting that uh, cook I've got a, a non-stick pan dry that uh, I've been heating right here and this this part is the cornbread dressing so here in Oklahoma you know that we we love our cornbread dressing along with our, our bread stuffing. Um, so today what I've done to, to create the bread component or the crouton for this, uh, I have the bread dressing, cornbread dressing. I've just sliced it, I've laid it out, and I'm gonna season it up with a little bit of the same type of seasonings that we have in the, in the soup. So this is black pepper, chili powder, cumin, a little bit of granulated garlic, and just a little bit of kosher salt. And I use the salt to help this come apart and be able to apply it the way that I like. So there we have that. So I'm going to add that to my pan. Yes, ma'am, absolutely. And um, 
this is, a, as I said, a traditional cornbread dressing. And so, being traditional, it has some butter in it. It has some half and half in it. So that fat component's there. And it's going to allow this to, to do exactly what I want it to. It should not stick. OK, so far, does this look like something that you might do at home? Yes. yes. That's coming together very nice. Give that just a little more time. And you're wanting to really create a crust here. You're going to do it over a, a low heat, relatively low heat, because you don't want to burn the seasonings that we just put on. But you do want the, the dressing to heat all the way through, and you want, the, you want to create a little bit of a crust on there. You can do a little press like I'm doing to help ensure that it's coming in full contact with the pan. Soup's coming along great. No muss, no fuss. Keep the slices on this relatively thin so that you can heat through by the time that the crust is formed on the outside. Okay, we're gonna call the soup good. So about how long should you leave the soup on the stove for? Really, it's just until the vegetables are, are tender to your liking. So if, if you like them very al dente, then it doesn't take very long. You can see that we've put this together here in about 10 or 12 minutes. You know, um, you can let this simmer on low for 12, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, you know. Um, just test the, test, test the veg and see if it's done enough for you. On this one, the sweet potato is the most dense of all the vegetables, the carrot and the sweet potato. So when they're, when they're to your liking, you're ready to pull, those off, pull it off. So I think it's going to be in good shape right now. So. Yes, sir. Have you ever tried it? You basically charboil it to leave it as a whole, chunks, and then put it in the soup. And, and leave, it, leave it as whole uh, to braise, to finish braising? Absolutely. And that's a, that's a great point. That's something that you can easily do. Um, and it's a great technique. Um, basically, you already have a finished product, um, and you're just re the the protein uh, with a braising procedure. So also what that does is, is um, as you re-therm that, that protein, chicken breast or whatever it be, pork, whatever, um, it's going to keep it very moist and gently heat it and, and not dry it out. So that's a great point, man. All right, I'm going to bring this over. As this finishes up, go. That's just about done. You can, I'm taking the time to bowl this up to show kind of a family style service. As I said, I, I really wanted to create a very hearty soup from this. So um, not a lot of broth, but if you prefer that, then by all means, add as, add as much as you like. There we go. Okay. Put that right 
there. These are ready to come off. finish this up. I use some Greek yogurt. You guys know I'm a big fan of Greek yogurt. So I utilize some Greek yogurt and um, added some of the seasonings to it that we've been using. A little bit of cracked black pepper and some cumin. A little bit of salt. little bit of lime. So we'll finish this out with garnish. And what is the yogurt for? The yogurt is just to top this as if you were going to use some sour cream. So just a little dollop of that. A sprig of cilantro and there is our leftover turkey soup with cilantro, lime, black beans and sweet potato.